Hello everyone, welcome back to Turok 2. Let's just get on with this. So I probably should have... Ah, uh, I don't think you can make that elevator in time. All my practice runs, I miss it every single time. But anyway, I probably should have ended the last video at the actual new area. So we get to enjoy a nice dose of backtracking. It's not a big deal, I guess. But yeah, th this next uh, few areas are pretty confusing because there's not much, not much indication on the correct way to go. So if this was your first time playing through it, you'd likely have to backtrack, or you would just completely miss the third level key. Because I did the first, <laughs> the first uh, run through of this. I did a few, like an hour ago or so. Alright, so we're finally back here. We've seen some of this before, but we can just skip past it. Uh, we can skip past him too. Ah! Uh, but not him! Run! Probably should have taken the time to kill him, but it's not a big deal. Okay, so those two areas you could blow up are pretty useless for me right now. There's a fire circle cannon in one of them. I don't think we need plasma rifle ammo, so it's not a big deal. Wow, please die. And a mine. Which I don't like very much. Okay, so there should be a guy here. Yeah. There is a full health there. Do I need it right now? I guess I'll grab it. Because every other time we're going to be going through this area, we will have died. <laughs> so... We wouldn't need the health. Whoa, hello. Hello, soldier, you're not surprising me. So, down this way, this is blocked by a force field, but that's where the portal is for the, I don't know what you call it, the like eagle feather place thing. But yeah, we have to go straight. Yeah, we have to go straight. We'll deal with that guy murdering our faces later. So this is going to be one of the only times I'm going to make use of the PFM layer because I happen to know when enemies will be spawning here. And these guys actually do a decent amount of damage if you don't... or if you just like take them out with the Warblade or whatever. I'm just going to use all my mines. More over here. Uh. Wow. Yeah, like, <laughs> I swear I've hit some of these guys with three mines and it still didn't kill them. And they're like the weakest enemies in this level. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Where's that last one? Oh, I guess I grabbed it. here. <laughs> yeah, so this is a pretty quick, wow really, like resource um, hub I guess maybe you'd call it. Because there's two healths and two ammo spawns. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, so I think I'm actually going to take advantage of it and restock on just everything because why not? So I'll be back shortly. Okay, we're back. Now that I have 10 mines, I can feel safer about everything. That's a big lie. I'm going the wrong way. That's cool. Am I? Wait. Wait. I seriously just confused myself. Uh... Is it the... Oh, no. No, no, no. It is just... Wait, we, we snipe these guys. Okay. <laughs> wow. So through here is where we need to go. I guess that's fairly obvious because of the light tiles. Plus, if you look at the map, you can see there's a hole in the wall, I think. Yeah. So, I think that takes down the force field blocking the area to the talisman portal. And then, back here, we'll activate one of those platform things for the four-way intersection. Wow, okay. 
I can guarantee you that I would have taken more damage trying to kill those guys, so... Learning that it's kind of better to just run away from them sometimes. Wow. I might actually farm more health here because I can. It's actually... It, it won't take too long. Yeah, I'll be right back. One more time. Well, honestly, I'll probably do this a few times, but yeah. Alright, that, that didn't take too long. So, hitting that last switch uh, activated this. I don't think it's possible to make the jump here if you were to try something like that. That seems like something I would be dumb enough to try. Aww, I'm sad that I wasted a bunch of life time. I have no idea why. In a previous video, I said 90. It clearly wastes 100 tiles. Oh well. So we're gonna go that way later. This is actually the way we want to go if we want to actually collect everything we need to. Okay. What more of these elevators that look the same? <laughs> Alright, so coming up soon is a pretty evil ambush, actually, so something to look forward to, I guess. Uh, I really just want to run past these guys, but I can. Alright, I'll take them out. Okay. So, up here you're like, oh, a fire storm cannon. Oh no, an enemy, and then you're like, let's kill him, but there's actually one behind you, too. If you didn't know that, ah. Then, you just lost a bunch of health, I guess, I don't know. That full health, I think, is the trigger for this guy and this guy. Just run by! Break the eggs! Okay. Oh, Jesus. I don't know if you saw what was there, but... I just wasted so many darts there. There is a soldier here, so that could have been bad if I would have ran all the way up there. Oh, please. Yeah, so we're going to just kind of run. There's a lot of guys that can snipe you over there. So this particular egg I don't think has any enemies in. It does have the warp portal switch behind it. So... Shoot. I'm gonna take this guy out. Well, that's okay. So now we could just rush the rest of the way here. Um, my only goal is to get that feather, and then I kind of want to die, so let's just die, actually. So, I believe dying is actually faster than not dying, because you have to go b we have to go back to that force field uh, that I pointed out earlier. I could be wrong, though. It might be about the same distance, but at least we get a health refill. And I forgot to grab that two health earlier, so... I guess that's a good thing, because we never died. But yeah. So, it's just this way. It might be faster to die, but maybe the death animation makes it slower. I don't know. <laughs> if you want to know, just watch the speedrun. It'll probably tell you. <laughs> Alright, we get to grab another one of these now. So, this is the Whisper's Talisman. It's basically the same thing as the Leap of Faith, it's just a whole lot slower. It's like a light gust of wind. How do you get out of here? It seems light, but it's probably not. Anyway, like a gust of wind guides you across gaps and stuff. We need it for the Primacy Key to level 4. And it's required to beat level 6 because there's several areas where you need to cross like a laser like gaps with lasers. Um, forgetting which way to go, it's this way, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is pretty, pretty confusing. 
and I can guarantee a lot of people would have went this way first, and then it's like, you see a portal in that door there, and then you wonder which way is the first direction to go, and you may end up wandering off in one direction for a while before you realize you have to go back, and it's really easy to just miss, miss something that you absolutely need. I actually forgot which, what is this direction. So I know there's a portal the other way. What is this way? Oh, okay. This is where we would have ended up if we hadn't died. But we needed to go back to get the talisman anyway, so... Okay. okay. So now we can just exit this place through here. Oh, uh, there's no gray health sting. Silver, whatever, whatever you want to call it. So, <laughs> this is an obvious trap, right? Let's activate this thing so we can take advantage of them being extremely deaf. I'm gonna not grab that yet, so that we can snipe these guys. Because if I miss, they'll do quite a bit of damage to me. Actually, oh well, yeah, like if, if, if you miss their head, they'll turn around and start shooting you. Yeah. Wow, please. I wasn't really too concerned about dodging, because I was just going to grab this anyway, but yeah. Okay, so there's a few of these guys around. And then once we kill them all, we get a nice surprise, so let's look, look forward to that. I think every time you kill one, one of them just spawns on another platform. Unless this guy was always there, I'm not entirely sure. But right when we kill these guys, we want to immediately take this out. Because of uh, this guy. And... Please die, please die, please die. I'm going to go in here. And another guy. Like, this is when the soldiers... These guys are pretty aggressive. Unlike some of the other ones that just kind of stand in one place and wait for you to get murdered by them. Okay, so actually I'm happy because we could save that full health for later. We are going to be coming back to this place in a bit. I need to remember what the right way to go is though. So this is... I'm not sure. This actually wasn't what I was expecting. Let me look around a little bit. This is okay, I think. Actually, I think this might be a different place than I thought it was. Really hard to tell sometimes. Maybe we'll never go back to get that full health, but that's not a huge deal, I guess. Okay. Take these guys out as I slowly... Um, because I used a lot of it... Well, no. I, I restocked an ammo, I don't need these mines. There was one in the in, in the right hand wall also. Okay. Just grab some stuff here. Hit that switch and just go. So this is just a save point. I don't know why I went in here. Honestly, we don't need it. I know there's a drone up there that's gonna shoot me. No. Yep, that's him. Okay, so we can just head head in here. This is a pretty dangerous area if you don't know that there's like four soldiers in the place down here. Okay. We're just going to take out these two though. That's about all we need to take out. Okay, so we can hear that. So let's just go to Oh, okay. This guy didn't die. That's not a big deal. But a thing that is really, really easy to miss is this cave right here. So we can just go in here and... Oh, oh wow. Those are the, there's a force field generator here. This is probably the easiest level key to miss in the entire game, I would think. There's like a really large sequence of steps you have to take to actually get to it. So you gotta break this one that's like hidden in the water that's really hard to spot like it's not even easy to spot on the map 
Like, there's no indication there's a door here at all. Well, not a door, but an opening. Um, so we need to go back. But I'm really afraid because that guy's still alive. It's not usually the case. He still didn't die. Oh, man. Yeah, they can do a lot. <laughs> so that didn't open that one, but I, I did this last time too, dang it. <laughs> it opened the one on this side. I should have killed that drone up there, but I didn't. Wait, where is it? Somewhere. This one. This is what it opened. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Stupid door. Alright, so we have more, more elevator stuff going on here. So all this is to destroy a force field that we don't even know exists yet. And actually it destroys the rest of the force fields in this level, because it's like the force field generator. Even though there just wouldn't be any more to begin with, but... <laughs> makes you think you've done something good when really it's just like a single force field that it destroyed. In fact, I wonder if there are any optional force fields that if it would have destroyed them too without the corresponding generator? I don't know. Oh man. That's pretty evil actually, to have the drones and stuff at the same time. Hey, they're fighting. Nice. I just want to take... Or, yeah, I just want to take that guy out. <laughs> he's more of a threat. Was he attacking the corpse? Dude, he's dead already. I'll, I'll let you have your revenge. He, like, killed your family or something. I don't know. I guess... I don't know. Maybe they're not actually family. Anyway, so this is the force fuel generator. It's like the main one. Oh, I forgot... I forgot! Lasers! I shouldn't use explosive rounds here. Okay, so every every three of these that you destroy, or two of these, sorry. What? Wait, 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 wait. I swear it's every two of these spawned an enemy. Um. Well, anyway, I'm gonna take the time here to farm health all the way because this can be annoying. <laughs> so yeah, I'll be right back. All right, we're back. That took way too long. There are so many silver health that spawn. Jeez. So I don't really know what's going on with this because usually they break or enemies spawn after killing two of these. Maybe it glitched out and now it's gonna now it's gonna do it. No? This is confusing. Huh. Anyway, um, I also grabbed a bit of ammo from there's an ammo spawning thing back there. So if my ammo seems inconsistent, that that's the reason. Oh jeez. Now it's spawning. That's weird. Oh well. Uh, this guy drops plasma rounds. Yep. Cool. I don't know when to expect enemies now because the thing's all messed up. I'm just gonna keep taking this out after killing each of these. There was one, right? I saw him over here. Yeah. Yeah, so this is where the ammo spawns. Ooh, that's perfect. Let's fill up on that. So usually something happens after the last one. Yeah, this guy. Looking too big. Yeah, I think I'm going to... Just take the time to stock up on, like, every possible thing that I can. While I have the opportunity here. <laughs> so, again... Be right back. Okay, that's probably enough. This makes me sort of miss playing on the N64 emulator, despite my horrible controller. Because you can just turn uh, the frame limit off, and then things will spawn really quickly. But anyway, I'm gonna go back over here. Through the area with the soldiers that I haven't killed yet. I probably will never kill them. I guess they can live. I just lost almost half my health from that one guy. Uh, thankfully there's like health spawns everywhere in this place. I'm gonna take this one out actually. Let's just do it the easy way here. Okay. That should be all of them that will be able to like actually do anything significant to me. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna take the time to farm that much health here. I'll wait for one more and I won't cut it out this time. Because there's quite a few blue healths coming up. 
but I don't want to like die before I get there. That would be dumb. Come on. Just spawn one more, please. I know this one can actually spawn a full health. Oh well. Bl please. At least it's not a silver. Those are always annoying. Okay, so this over here is what all of that force field breaking shenanigans unlocked because there was a force field here. Probably the last force field. And you're like, hey, there's a door here. Oh no, you can't get through. <laughs> Another one of those traps. Yep. When will they learn? I don't know. But there's also a soldier to the left here. Like, if you continue down this hallway place. But he's not really guarding, like, anything. I don't know what the point of him is. He's like a trap or something. But we can continue. So all that was to get that level key, which is required to beat the game. <laughs> but it just seems like a lot just for that little key. Anyway, this tunnel's trippy. Also, I can guarantee you that that's less damage I would have taken had I killed them. Because my, my first run through here, they took like 50 health off me. Because there's just so many of them and they have a pretty high damage rate. Anyway, this is where I wanted to end this episode. It might be a little bit longer than usual, but it's probably fine. Uh, you'll notice that this area looks differently. Or, wow. This area looks different than the rest of the level. This is, I guess, the part two of the level that I was talking about that has a different feel to it. And I guess we'll explore that next time. So, thank you for watching. Have a good day.